Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Inside Out Triangle, where we think outside the box. My name is Teray, and this is Struggle Meal September, meaning that every day for the month of September, I'll be posting a video with affordable meals that you can get the items from either the Dollar Store or Walmart or Dollar General, something affordable that you can make for you, you and your partner, or a large family. I have about six, I have six people in my family, so it would be enough. I could stretch this recipe and make it for six people. Today's recipe is going to be, oh my gosh, what is today's recipe? <laughs> today's recipe is going to be bread pudding. Now, because my channel is Inside Out Triangle, I've decided that I would do things that kind of think outside the box. That's my tagline, thinking outside the box. So, this is going to be a bread pudding recipe. However, there will be, if you can look and see, there will be an item where you need to think outside the box. Okay? So, let me go ahead and tell you what ingredients you will need. You're going to need old bread. So, this bread has been around for a couple of days. It's not moldy, but it's getting kind of, you know, it's got some character to it. It's a little hard, but not too hard. That's what she said. That's what she said. Okay? You need bread. Remember, I do premium vanilla because even though vanilla, you can get it from the dollar store, the imitation vanilla, I will pay money for extra, uh, extra premium vanilla flavor. It really does help your recipes. Cinnamon, salt, just for extra flavor, white granulated sugar. And then I actually have two items where I am thinking outside the box. The first is going to be almond milk. And believe it or not, I got this from a dollar store. So almond milk. And because I am lactose intolerant, that's where we're going with this. And then also get a pastry. A Danish. Some sort of Danish. Um, let's see. I've got the cheese and berry Danish. I got this from... Dollar General, yeah. I was going up and down the aisle, and I was like, I need something sweet. So I picked this up, and I was like, ooh, this would be nice in bread pudding. So those are the ingredients that you need. I've already preheated my oven to 350 degrees. It's ready. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, my oven is currently preheated to 350 degrees. I don't know what happened, but I totally forgot to tell you guys you need eggs. <laughs> you need eggs. So get three eggs, and then you also need melted butter. Now, remember, I am not a measurement person. I'm a savory cook, so I like to add and subtract as much as possible until it tastes good to me. So that's what I'm going to suggest for bread pudding. Now, usually with baking, you have to be precise. That way it rises or it falls or whatever you need it to do. But with bread pudding, you're looking for taste. So I'm going to start with three eggs. If I like it, I'll keep it. And if I don't, I'll add. So we're going to start with the eggs. Let's go ahead and crack those. I've got my garbage bag right beside me today. <laughs> so I don't have to run back and forth to the trash. Fire two. Last one. Fire three. Let's go ahead and add the almond milk. We're going to add some cinnamon. Who does not like cinnamon? It's so good. My baby. The premium vanilla, which I'm about to run out of. So I'm going to run to the store and get some more. I'll say that's about two, two teaspoons. Somewhere in there. We want a pinch of salt. So like a sprinkling. This helps to pump up the flavor. Not that much. We're going to add our melted butter, which I just took butter. Took one of my favorite cups because my daughter knows that I like that little kitty So from Facebook. So put that in there. And then we're going to add some sugar. Give this a good stir. I'll be right back. 
to ourselves, there is no better time than now to make that change. She breaks it off with Chris and she goes and checks into a center for treatment. And while she is there with a clear mind, she cannot escape the guilt that she all right so please be sure to like comment and subscribe it really does help my channel get out there to other people who might be interested in struggle meals as well i appreciate that you watch these videos so please comment below let's get a dialogue going now what i'm doing is i'm just taking the bread the uh, bread that's been sitting around for a while even the ends of the bread all of this is going to be delicious so you just want to make it into fine crumbles you know just like a of us picking it apart all right we'll finish that up and get a nice pile going now that we have the bread already crumbled up in a nice little bowl we're going to go ahead and just rough chop this danish it's got the goodies on the inside that the berries and the cream cheese and we're just going to give it a nice little rough chop just so that it gets kind of like in cubes and then we'll place this in the bowl as well. Let's do it again. Just like in squares here, okay? There we go. Something like that. And it goes with the breadcrumbs. And we will mix these two together and be right back. Well, I thought you might actually want to see that, so... Just mixing it together so that every bite of the every bite every bite of the pudding will have the bread as well as the delicious goodness that is the pastry okay mixing it up well all right so please be sure to like comment and subscribe it really does help my channel get out there to other people who might be interested in struggle meals as well I appreciate that you watch these videos. So please comment below. Let's get a dialogue going. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the bread, the uh, bread that's been sitting around for a while, even the ends of the bread. All of this is going to be delicious. So you just want to make it into fine crumbles. You know, just like a, a rough picking it apart. All right, we'll finish that up and get a nice pile going. We're now going to add our egg mixture, and I wish you could smell this. I mean, the cinnamon, that premium vanilla, it smells fantastic. Go ahead and pour that over the, the crumbs, and we're going to let all that goodness soak in. Now, remember, because I don't use measurements, my whole way of doing is, let's see, how do, how do I put this? Uh, well, let's see. So, I had it the other day. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. okay, so let's go with less is more, right? Because if you do a little recipe asked for, then that way you can add to the recipe, but it's very hard to subtract. So I'm going to put about this much in. I'm going to whole mixture. I want to make sure everybody wonderful flavor okay and i'm going to just look maybe for like three minutes, just so that it can all in every nook and cranny all right and we'll be right back we're going to spray the pan lightly just so that it's easy out when we're ready Okay, and I did want to mention that. Remember, I was talking about that Kit Kat mug when my daughters went to their Comic Con. I believe it was the one in um, New York. Those that I love, that little <laughs> from uh, Facebook, want to mug and put it on camera. So now we're going to pour in our air and get ready to put this in the oven. I was doing it, then I was like, this would be actually great on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on camera. All right. Little drop. Come on. It's not hot. And it's pretty. You know, put that in the sink. And it's pretty. It's about halfway full. You know, I can get a little bit more in here, so I'm going to do a little bit more bread and a little bit more egg mixture. Again, this goes with what I was just saying 
that you can always add, but it's very difficult to subtract. So let's add a little bit more. Be right back. This is addition by subtraction. Before I put it in the oven, I did top it with a few sticks of butter and a little bit of brown sugar. This is going to go into the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven. Just please be sure to check it around that 30 minute mark. Let's get ready for some goodness. And here we go, fresh out of the oven, nice and hot. Let's look at that crust, listen. Amazing, buttery, sugary. It smells wonderful. I wish I could pick it up, but it's so hot. This is just great. It, we did the fork test, and it came out nice and clear and nice and buttery. Look at that butter. Let's see if I can get in a little bit closer for you guys. There we go. Nice and buttery absolutely delicious let's go ahead and get a slice so that you can see bread pudding with pastry and here is the final product i don't know if you can see that but the heat is actually rising from this it's straight out the oven no joke look at that bread pudding you've got the pastry here it's warm it's moist just listen to that crust i got an edge piece i don't know if you're an edge piece or a centerpiece person but this is heaven i don't know if you can smell it but the vanilla is really coming through as well as the cinnamon and then it's topped with the brown sugar so so very hot let me give you your piece if you're a center person let's go with your piece there you go and then let me give you yours if you are a corner piece person let's go here are you a corner piece person or a centerpiece person? Please comment below. There we go. So here's your bite and here is my bite. Make sure I get some of that delicious pastry in there. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Guys, the butter... The sweetness of both the white sugar and the brown sugar combining together, the vanilla, the cinnamon. Oh, and that bread is just so moist and tasty. You have got to try this recipe. Yes, you've had bread pudding before. If you've never had bread pudding before, or if you've had it before, try it with the pastry on the inside. Mmm, so buttery, so good. I thank you so much for coming to my video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, these are difficult times with inflation and gas prices and food prices and COVID. So please, guys, take care of yourself and one another. Get you a nice warm bowl of bread pudding. It did not take very long. And I could top it with some vanilla ice cream. Mm, it'll be fantastic. Okay, take one more good last look. Remember, at the end of my videos, I do post a small video of my grandcats. I have three, thanks to my daughters. They're cute. Three little cats at the end of the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day. Have a blessed day. Bye.